What's up, Nine Rounders? Kicking Kins here, and I'm an exercise specialist for Nine Round. Today, we want to break down the question what are macros? Macros is short for macronutrients, which are the main nutrients that our body needs in large quantities. We're talking carbohydrates, fats, and proteins. So, let's break down why each one of these is important. Carbohydrates are important for our, the energy that our body needs to function. There are a few different kinds of carbohydrates. We have simple carbohydrates and we have complex. Simple carbohydrates tend to taste sweeter and they also raise our blood sugar levels a little bit quicker. So think fruits, some candy, table sugar, things like that. When it comes to complex carbohydrates, they don't raise our blood sugar quite as fast and they tend to taste a little bit more savory. Now let's move on to protein. Protein is important because it consists of amino acids. Amino acids are the body's building blocks. And if you've worked out for any length of time, you know that protein is very important for our muscle structure as well. Lastly, we have fats. Just like with carbs, there are a few different types of fats and they each have their own purpose. Saturated fats tend to be the fats that we want to kind of limit in our diet as they're associated with heart disease. Whereas unsaturated fats tend to be healthier for us, they have health benefits, and it also reduces our risk of heart disease. Now let's talk macro breakdown. Each one of these macronutrients is equally important for the proper function of our body. We need them all within our nutrition each and every day. So carbohydrates should make up the largest portion. We're talking 45 to 65% of our daily calories should come from carbohydrates. Protein should make up 10 to 35% of our daily calorie intake, and then fat should take up about 20 to 35% of our daily caloric intake. And each number will kind of vary depending on how much of the other nutrients you're getting in throughout the day. Now, let's discuss the ideal sources for each of these macronutrients. We'll start with carbs. When it comes to our carbohydrates, we want to think about lots of fruits and vegetables as these are high in fiber and they also give us a lot of energy and they're non-starchy carb sources. They're not quite as heavy. When it comes to our starchy carb sources, we want to still think of things that grow from the ground. Think potatoes, sweet potatoes, things of that nature. And of course, when we're looking into grains and things, we want to focus on whole wheat so we're getting plenty of nutrients. You could also throw in some beans and things of that nature. When it comes to our protein, we want to think lean proteins. Chicken, turkey, tofu, fish, even some legumes, things like that all have plenty of protein, but they have less saturated fat, and this will help us to make sure we're keeping that nice macronutrient balance, and we're not getting too much of those fats in our body that can have negative health effects. And lastly, when it comes to fats, as I alluded to while discussing the protein, we want more of an emphasis on the unsaturated fats, things like avocado, coconut oil, extra virgin olive oil, nuts, seeds, things of that nature, as they've been shown to have health benefits for us and they decrease our chance for heart disease. So there's the scoop on our macronutrients. Take what you've learned today and incorporate it into your daily nutrition and you're sure to see some results.